talk us touch briefly on uh, what made you guys uh, parted ways. Let me think of a PC way to put this. <laughs> Let's see. So yeah, so uh, David and I, you know, we had uh, Chaos Records, and uh, obviously, you know, it had done relatively well considering. And, uh, you know, we're both making music independently more so than together. And uh, to be honest, the only song that we really ever collaborated on was uh, Techno Bass. I mean, where we actually said, I, I felt that we actually did something 50-50 was probably Techno Bass. I mean, that was, uh, the, the phrase Techno Bass was what I, I thought we should call our music. Because, um, like I said, I, I have a lot of... Uh, I had a passion for for craftwork and that that's that style, and I had a passion for Miami bass, and uh, so my thinking was, you know what, we should call our style techno bass. Um, and you know, David was the one that came up with a lot of the samples for the beats, like the he sampled the the, the fat uh, it was fast life for the the actual drum beat for that, and uh, the keyboards we came across uh, the Xena record, and um, so that was really the only song that we I think ever collaborated truly on a, as a group. Uh, where it was just him and me and, and no one else. Uh, and so we really, you know, this whole time we're working on separate projects and, uh, you know, the, the, the thing of, of having a business with someone, uh, we had it 50-50 and uh, just didn't work out too well. Long story short, we, we parted ways and uh, I decided to kind of form my own label and, I, and uh, he actually was getting assistance from his, his stepfather, which uh, was, was just one of the other factors in... in uh, us parting ways. Right. Now, so when we go from there, we talk about teaming up with Jock D and Cut It Up Def Records into too much bass and pretend that I'm not the one asking you about it. <laughs> you got 10 minutes before I have to come. Okay. This will be the last section we'll do before that time. So okay, I like keep it moving, like the timeline moving, like now, you know. Yeah, so the first time I heard of this this uh, retarded GJ named Jock D. <laughs> <laughs> now it was actually a buddy of mine, uh, Aaron Ray, who said, "Hey man, have you, have you uh, listened to this record?" And uh, um, I guess I'm getting old because I don't remember which one it was, but uh, it was uh, Chris rapping, and Part you know. Time. Uh, maybe. No, I don't think, the first one I what else did on. you do? Was there another one? That's the only one I think I rapped on. Of the death. Was there? That you would have heard. Was there one time. that you did two verses on? Well, no. Yeah, you're right. I, that was the other one's a house shit, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, it must have been party time. And uh, probably shouldn't burp on camera. Exactly. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, Aaron was the one that said, "Hey, listen to this guy, man." Uh, He's obviously white, just like you, and uh, he actually sounds good, <laughs> uh, unlike some other white rappers. But uh, so he's like, yeah, you should, you guys should get together and uh, and work together. And and to be honest, like I said, I don't remember how we hooked up. Uh, at the end of the day, obviously we knew each other because um, we ran with the same people. And I think Aaron was the one that connected me with all the the, the cut it up deaf crowd though, because um, somehow uh, Aaron Ray was the one uh, that uh, met up with them and and then. I think I might have met you up at some show or something at, uh, anyway, yeah, you in the background there. Um, so yeah, Chris, Chris and I hooked up, uh, I had a, I had a beat, it was called Let's Go, that I had done with some other rapper, and I had another song, uh, called This Is Too Much Bass, and, uh, the Let's Go song had the Stone Fox Chase sample, which is pretty much very close to the beat that we have today that, that came out as Too Much Bass, and then we have the, uh, the other version and basically said, hey, you know what, you should take this sample from here and put it over here because this song sucks and put it on the Stone Fox Chase. So that's pretty much what we did and then uh, he pretty much changed some of the beats around and, and that's uh, kind of how we hooked up, did the, the uh, this is too much bass. Um, when we did the kind of the traditional, uh, you know, we had one side bass just like Miami bass and then we did the traditional techno bass style emergency um, which was uh, another beat that I had started and then uh, Chris ended up taking and uh, that's Jock D. Uh, 
ended up taking and putting, uh, I think he sampled running and added a bass line and some shit and it came out, came out pretty hot. Um, and then, uh, as you'll see later, he, we actually, you know, like right now I live in New Jersey, he lives in Miami. I just saw him and this motherfucker's wearing the same shit I am. So, you know, obviously we think on the same, same wavelength or something. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> 